Hey folks, it's Eugene here. And today what I'm gonna be doing is a test between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro. And this is using Recon 3D. And so, because we have a new sensor on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models, I wanna see if there's some kind of a difference in the data that is being collected and reconstructed. It's very difficult to tell so far uh, between the two, and I figure, you know what, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side test, and what I'm gonna do here is, I've got nothing but just a simple angle bracket, a couple of uh, nuts, and two adapters, and there you go, you got two phones. So, they'll be scanning side-by-side, -side and they'll be covering pretty much the same area, very close together so I want to give this a go and see what happens so let's get right to it I'm gonna set these phones up right now okay so they're both set up I'm just gonna go here done done I'm gonna go create create they are already set to the default I've got five I've got five I've got uh, depth of reconstruction is the same everything is a go so basically if I hit save and save for the settings now what I'm do is I'm just gonna scan I'm gonna extend this a little bit and again, no target markers or anything like that. This is just gonna be a um, you know, qualitative uh, you know, sort of uh, comparison between the two. So here we go, I'm gonna go, 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 and there you go, let's make some comparisons. Now this will be obviously side by side on the, uh, on the screen here, so you'll be able to see the difference between the two. But you know, in just looking at it, it's a little hard to tell, but let's see what happens once they're side by side. It's hard to, to pay attention to both and do the scanning at the same time here. So again, nothing too crazy. Uh, and I'm not even worried about making a really complete scan. It's just more or less about making sure that we have the same kind of coverage, which with these two things up by themselves there, I think it should be. That should be good there. Just let me get the side here. Uh, sometimes I'll move down like this a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna go up over the top a little bit like this so I can get a little bit of the roof here like that. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Actually, I'm gonna go down here, get the lower parts a little bit better. And one more time. And then everything else after that is gonna be all on the computer and we can check everything in Cloud Compare. Okay. I like that. Boom. Done. And that's it. So let me hit stop here. Stop. Stop. And I'm gonna process both of these on of the cloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and process on cloud. Process on cloud. So these are both uploading right now. Uh, it's connected to the Wi-Fi at my office here. And we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll compare the data later on. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back at the computer and I have both scans processed just at the default settings. That's the five millimeter resolution setting and five meter uh, depth of reconstruction. So I've imported it into Cloud Compare and I've uh, broken them apart and done some different things here. So we're gonna look at that, but uh, it's not too bad. The first thing you'll notice is that when I imported both scans, I literally just dragged and dropped them both in place. And one of the things I found here was that they fall almost right on top of each other. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought there would have been a little bit more difference between the two. But let me just show you what I mean. If I take the iPhone 12 scan and I shut it off and on and I just toggle it like this, you'll see that they're very, very close together. And so... Uh, you know, your starting position was offset just by, you know, whatever that was, maybe just a few inches, you know, 10, 10, 15 centimeters on the uh, little uh, rig that I had uh, with the phone adapters. But uh, yeah, they're, they're very close together to start with. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Not too bad. Now, I have separated these out. So let me shut these off and let me open up the side by side here. And I just got one more. There we go. So what we have here is this one here is going to be the iPhone 15. That's the data that we got there. This one here is the iPhone 12. And right off the bat, you can see that they're not exactly the same, but they are similar in terms of the data that they've picked up and, uh, you know, where there's like some gaps and stuff. So you'll see here. Now, I wasn't really focusing on the area outside of the vehicle. So outside of these lines, you'll see that I've got some gaps here, whereas the 15, I got a little bit more data. Um, I've got some holes here. I've got some holes here, kind of in the same area, more or less. So it does look 
pretty similar. And if I were to go in terms of the size of the points that were collected, uh, if I go down here, you'll see that on the iPhone 15, I've got about, uh, let me just see here. Uh, well, no, I, I actually separated these. Let me go back to this one here. So the iPhone 12, the original file had about 1.6 million points. And on the iPhone 15, I had about 1.7 million points. So they were very, very similar. The iPhone 15 picked up a few extra points, but you know, when they're that close together, I'm not really going to say too much about that. Let's just say that they're very similar. Now, in terms of the color differences, it looks like similar, a little bit more contrast here, I think. Like I'm looking at this spot that's over here versus over here. This one just looks a little bit more pronounced for some reason. Um, hard to say. They are close. I mean, you're getting dark areas outside of here, dark areas outside of here, a little bit lighter in this area than here. So look, there's not a big difference in the color either. Okay. So between these two, not too bad. Um, let me shut off the external data because what I did was I uh, created some uh, crops for just the uh, 15 and the 12. And again, the 15 is here and the 12 is here. So let's go ahead and look up close a bit more at what we got. And I'm going to start on the driver's side here and just do some quanti uh, qualitative stuff here. So, you know, I'm looking at the data. So on the, win uh, the glass, this is tinted windows, but it seems like we did get data here, which is interesting. And on the side, you can see that I've got these uh, little markings here, whatever. There's some little tiny gaps in between. So let me go back here and let me do the same thing with the 12. Well, let's look at it the same. Okay. So this is kind of interesting. So on the 12, I have more gaps on the uh, tinted windows. So you can see that wasn't filled in, whereas here it's totally filled in. So I find that kind of interesting why that would be. And, um, you know, that's a different sensor and maybe it just reacts differently to some of the uh, window tint or the way that's being reflected. Now on the side here, we still have some of these artifacts um, that just has to do with the way that it reconstructs the data. But you see it looks a little bit larger here, right? So if I look over here, let me go back to this side over here. And let's see if it looks the same or similar. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, just it has a different, little bit different behavior. It seems like it's a little bit smaller, but definitely the glass. So that's an interesting thing. Let me, let me go to the back glass and check that here. That's the 15. Okay. So that looks pretty solid. We've got something there. Let's check the 12. Okay. Definitely a difference there. Now these were side by side. So they should have picked up very, very similar, um, uh, data. So it would have passed across these objects in almost nearly the same space distance and, and, uh, that sort of thing. So I find that kind of interesting. So glass is reconstructed a little bit better here on the 15, uh, with the window tint. So I did, I wasn't expecting that, but Hey, you know, you learn as you practice here. So let's look at the distance and let's look at maybe some of the differences. Now, this is not that it, uh, helpful really because these are different sensors and even with the same device, uh, two different devices have, you know, different sensors, even though it's the exact same model sensor, specifically, it's not the exact same sensor. So that to me says, Hey, you know, there's, there's something going on there. Now I'm just going to take a measurement here. And let me take a distance measurement. Nothing too crazy, just something at the front here. Let me see. Okay, I got a point at the front. And then I'm going to take one at the back, kind of in the same area for both. I just want to see what I get here. Okay, so that's about 4.39. Let me just see here. And that's more or less, okay, not perfectly straight across, but close enough. So let me save that. So 4.39 on this guy. And let me go to this one here. Actually, let me close that. Let me select this guy. And I'm just going to use the point picking tools and see if I can do the exact same thing. So let's do that. And let's take a measurement. Let's measure about from here, which is what we did before. And come to the back here. All right, here we go. What do we got? So here we got 4.46. So that's interesting. Uh, let me save that. Let me close this. So on the, let me go back out here. All right. So let me just make sure uh, they're about the same. It's not perfect, but close enough. So you can see here on the iPhone 15, let me turn these around a bit because that's the way I'm used to seeing them. So left side is iPhone 15, right side is the 12. And you'll see that I've got 4.46 uh, 
on the iPhone 15 and I've got 4.39, 4.4. So ultimately we're talking about something on the order of about seven centimeters, you know, maybe two, two inches or so. So quite a difference. Interesting that two sensors do have a difference. The iPhone 15 right here is larger and on the iPhone 12, it is a little bit smaller, but I can't really say a lot here unless I had, you know, multiple iPhone 15s and multiple, multiple iPhone 12s. And that's really would give me, um, you know, some a little bit more or better indication. But look, in terms of overall, it doesn't appear that there are major, major differences. A little bit less noise on the uh, 15 here on the glass is really what I'm looking at. We're not having those kinds of gaps. It seems to be filling in these areas a little bit more. So that's something I'm going to explore a little bit better in the future. But Overall, I think this makes the point, the iPhone 12, 13, and 14 uh, using the older sensor and the iPhone 15 are probably going to give you very, very similar results. Thanks, folks, and we shall see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.